everybody. Okay, happy Monday. Um, apologies, I'm figuring out my mic and my lighting. Here's where we're at. Also, this is the brightest hoodie I've worn, I think, ever. Um, I don't know if it's distracting. We'll see. Anyway, I thought we would just quickly go over Pomodoro techniques inside of Marvin. Let me try and maybe the lighting gets better over here. Mm, not really. Okay, attempts were made. But <laughs> there are a few ways to use Pomodoros inside of Marvin, which is why it's one, I mean, y'all know it's already my favorite. We've already discussed this at length. But most apps that I've seen just have a simple button where you just start a timer and it's like, okay, great, Pomodoro started, that's it. You figure out the rest, like, but here's your timer. And that's what they have absolutely at the most, right? Here it is, good luck. So, what I love about Marvin is that there are a few options for Pomodoros that are not just like generic timer, get started. Let's go through them. First and foremost, you can turn on the Pomodoro option. So when you go down here, oh wait, let me move my face. Nope. Hey, now, all right, let me move my face over so you can see it when it pops up. Okay. Okay, so the first option for Pomodoros is, please ignore that I didn't get things done on Friday, so I got some overdues down here. <laughs> We're just going to ignore that. Um, but, so, the first option is right here, the start to our Pomodoro cycle. It's just a quick button that you can enable, and I'm pretty sure you can change the settings for, like, what happens on it. And all you do is click it, and you're off to the races, and you see the little tomato down there that will let you know you know, when it's done and when it's up and when to take your break. So that's the first option. If you just want the simple timer, you can enable this right here to pop up. I'm pretty sure it's in the just features and strategies. So option number one. Option number two is this little one on the upper right-hand corner up here. So um, Let's see, here's all the options. As you can see there, they should be popping up. I'm pretty sure they pop up for you. If not, you can shift click to open the tomato storage, right click for a quick timer, alt click to record a session after the fact, which is, this is one of the few apps I've seen that allows that. And then alt shift click to open settings. So, um, you can just click on it and you can either do a set timer for a fixed amount of time or Pomodoro cycles, as you can see, you can do 20 minutes, 25, 30, 55, the break duration, repeat cycles, and then you just hit start, and it starts. Also, I'm pretty sure um, the, the shift click is one of the rewards for when you've leveled up to a certain point in Marvin. You get different tiers. I won't click on it, no spoilers, you know, if you, <laughs> I'm sure you can Google it and find out what you unlocked at each level, but um, yeah, so let's see, right click for a quick timer, as you can see, it'll just pop up, there's your options, click, go, off to the races, right? Um, yeah, let's see, alt, shift, click. Let me see, I'm on a Mac. Yep, and then here's the settings. My daily goal is six per day, obviously I'm falling short, which, you know, is <laughs> that's another discussion for another time but you know you can set a goal um and then show animation when the daily goal is reached which i think is great and wonderful um yeah a little bit about it cool and then the last well actually two more options i'm sorry so that's one two so four different options for pomodoros inside of marvin so another one i just discovered the other day was that if you're making a task you go up here let's say like test Test or test. Okay, um, what you can do using your keyboard is do 25 minutes. Let's say that's what you wanted to set your Pomodoro for. Um, slash how long you want your break. We'll say five minutes. This was their example. And then how many times you want that to repeat. And this is specifically for this task, which I thought was a really, really cool thing to be able to tie a Pomodoro session specifically to a task. So We'll say two. I just learned this literally the other day. And so um, let me go to my inbox. That went to my inbox. I should have said schedule today. That's okay. <laughs> so let it pop up. Once again, this is my ancient computer. This is never Marvin. So here it is, right? 
Um, you can see all my tasks. But we'll just schedule this for um, today. Set due date. Today. Great. So we can go back to our today list. But it's also there in your master list with all of those. So down here, as you can see, there it is. So all you want to do, you can always track time over here and hover and click that, but you can just click on this and it starts. Isn't that great? You just click on that and then it just does exactly what you asked it to do over here, the little Pomodoro start. So I think that's a really, really unique way. And also, as you can see, um, when I hover over it, it goes away, but like there, the 10 second, it, it, when you click on it, it also adds the total time to the task. What a absolutely brilliant idea. Um, love it. So we'll just, we'll just delete that. I won't give myself credit for actually <laughs> for a tester task. So all of those, and then also on their blog, their blog is extremely helpful. I would highly recommend reading it. A lot of blogs for these productivity apps are decent, you know, they're helpful, but these ones are really clear cut. So also, a strategy um, in one of the workflows is Pomodoro Sprint. So as you can see, it is, you have an option of just like planning your day by your sprints. If that's how you prefer to work, so Pomodoro Sprint one, two, three, um, you know, you would just turn it on in your workflow library, which I have not fully tested yet. Some of them I'm a little nervous to click on because then they change your workflow and some of sometimes, I, I like my workflow. I will play with things a little more, but you know, really easy, clear cut, super easy to explain. But that is pretty much it. Here are the workflow templates up in here, up in the upper right, methodologies, there it is. And then once you test the workflow theory ideas, you can give them stars, like whether or not it worked for you so you can actually remember um, what you liked and what you didn't like. So that's pretty much it. That is Pomodoro's Inside of Amazing Marvin. I believe I went over four different options. Yeah, just the regular tomato button, the tomato in the upper right corner, um, writing it on the task, and also the whole entire Pomodoro sprint strategy. So lots of options, depending on how you like to work. I like Pomodoro's. It helps keep me focused. I'm really good at focusing for a set amount of time, and then like my brain can't focus after that. So. That is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, if you want to try Amazing Marvin, I have a link and a, or a link slash code down below. It gets you 60 free days, which is great. You know, if you really want to test it out. I knew within one week that I wanted to subscribe to Marvin. So, but you know, you do it your time. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching, guys.